guys have all this traffic and users on the platform without even doing any advertising at the beginning. <laughs> it's just incredible for me and I'm sure for the audience out there. Yeah, it's very, very amazing for us as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think DeFi and crypto in general uh, is organizing communities. Uh, most of them are using Telegram groups and mm -hmm. other kind of chat groups. And at that moment, and now, right now also, they like to share information about the new tokens and new liquidity pools using links to right. it, to our application. Absolutely. So that's the way we share mm -hmm. the information. Okay, there's a new interesting token to invest on it. That's the link to see the, the, mm -hmm. the history of yes. the swaps or re in real time, take it and they share it. And that's the way. It's a very organic way Absolutely. to know us. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, we are working in a plan <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because uh, well, China is our second country uh, after United States, no? Mm -hmm. After, after, after United, US, United yeah. States, right? uh, China is our second uh, source of users. Yeah. Um, and maybe China and America combined total, I'm just guessing, right? Maybe like 40, 40 mm. to 65 percent? I'm not sure, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. China is... Because uh, Euro, Euro leaders are the two biggest yeah. for a lot of the projects. Yeah, and China and Asia is a, is a market that is growing, and we know for sure that we can grow a much more there. Right. The point is that we need to uh, know better the cultural uh, issues yeah. of, of China and Asia Absolutely. to be m more vital there. Yeah. Because, of yeah. course, we are from Europe. And yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. And okay, we have contacts in communities and we have some community ma managers there and a, right. a, a Chinese group yeah. of the project, but uh, we don't feel so comfortable as working in, in European and American. Absolutely, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But this is, we are working in a plan with some uh, person of ma well, a marketing team. I'm looking for people there to to expand as well. Yeah, absolutely. I would say that going as for someone born and raised in China for 18 years and then moved away, doing business or any kind of business at all, or I don't know, even maybe like finding a girlfriend in China, it's like <laughs> as you have this culture barrier and you have this wall that you have to either walk through it or you have to find a way to go through it because it's just almost like a completely different world over there, right? Different rules, different culture, different, um, or even different intentions. Mm -hmm. So I think definitely it would, may, when it comes to going to the market, such as China specifically, we would definitely uh, need an expert there to be successful.